Hi everyone and welcome back to the Hair Loss Show. Very good to see you all today. And I want to spend a few minutes talking about a question that we get asked a lot, uh, especially in, in, in clinic. Um, and that's to do with the use of minoxidil to grow a beard. So beard growth has become exceptionally popular now across uh, countries, cultures, uh, the idea and the ideal of being able to grow a thicker and fuller beard is becoming quite aspirational. Now, there are a variety of different genetic uh, you know, basis of comparisons there. There are certain cultures, of obviously, that were, you know, are not so hirsute or hairy and therefore un less likely to be able to grow thick facial hair. Uh, and there are obviously other uh, cultures or certainly people from different parts of the world where uh, facial hair is a lot more prominent. But what about if you've got facial hair and you want to try and be able to thicken that up? Well, a lot of people are using or certainly advocating for the use of minoxidil for, to attempt to be able to, to do this. Now, we've talked about this in the past. We know that minoxidil is a stimulator for hair. But you know, what are the real effects of being able to apply it to the face, in certainly in a topical format, and what are the outcomes from that? Well, there's not a lot of data to support this. Well, there have been a couple of studies. There was a study out of Thailand back in 2016. There's recently been a, a, a case report as well uh, of, of someone who's been using uh, topical minoxidil. And what the data is showing is that there is potentially some degree of improvement. I mean, if you're someone that doesn't have any facial hair at all, well, look, applying minoxidil all the live long day is not going to help with that. But the recent case report looked at a, a set of twins and one uh, set of the twins, identical twins, used topical minoxidil and the other one uh, didn't. And what they found was that the, the twin that actually used the minoxidil had a slight uh, which was statistically significant, improvement in uh, hair thickness, hair count, um, but not so much of an improvement in certainly in hair shaft diameter. There was a study that was a double-blinded uh, randomized control study out of Thailand a few years ago that also showed that there was some degree of improvement, but again, not fantastic. And if you've not got any hair, if you actually you know, don't have any facial hair, you're unlikely to significantly uh, thicken that or improve the state there. So certainly minoxidil can be used. It's very safe. You can buy topical minoxidil over the counter. Really the only downsides of, of using that are the fact that because it contains propylene glycol, it can cause some skin irritation. So try it slowly, see how you get on with it, but certainly it can be used to try and uh, boost the growth and improve uh, facial hair. That's been a question that we've asked, been asked a lot. Thanks again for watching. If you've got any more questions like that, please do send them through and we'll see you again on the next episode. Take care.